Hello, everybody. This is Eric Ward. Welcome to another Link Moses private video tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to focus on how to find link and publicity opportunities using Google searches, specifically some of the advanced search operators that Google lets us use. Some of them quite simple, some of them far more advanced. That's why you'll see on the screen here, this is part one. I hope to do many more of these. I'm sorry it took so long to get to this one. Um, and without further ado, let's dig into this. I'm going to be showing you examples today for a specific client. I can't give you their name because I don't think that would be fair to them. Um, but uh, uh, it's a very topical, nichified uh, business. That makes this process a little bit easier. Um, at the same time, the techniques and tactics I'll be showing today or demonstrating today could be used for any type of website with a little bit of modification, and we'll talk more about that as we get into it. Okay, so let's move over to our Google search screen. And as a little bit of background, the client that I'm doing this on behalf of sells uh, outdoor um, gear related to camping, um, outdoor enthusiasts. A big part of their business actually has to do with archery, which happens to be something that I'm interested in myself as a kid and also with my own uh, uh, two of my boys are, are just getting into it themselves. So great example to use. And let's start with the most simplest of all types of Google searches. Again, let's assume that our site is a site that is an e-commerce site in addition to selling archery and outdoor related equipment and supplies. It also has got uh, some useful content on it in the form of uh, safety download safety safety download uh, documents uh, um, uh, things you can uh, uh, PDF files etc um, instructional documents even printable targets uh, a number of different types of content besides just being a pure e-commerce store but generally speaking we are talking that our primary theme here is going to be archery where so if archery is my main theme where do I begin well I'm going to start with the simplest search of all Archery, I can spell that right. Archery links. Now I've not done any advanced Google searches yet. All I've done is done a search on the phrase archery links and I've gotten 16.2 million results. So in what way is that possibly helpful? Well, it's helpful in a couple ways. Um, first of all, not every one of these is going to be a genuine link opportunity, but the reason I like to start here is because Google has to rank something first and something last. In this case, somebody ranks at 16.2 million. But nonetheless, I want to see, let's take a look at this first one and see what's on this website right here. Wow, is that a lot of links? Online stores? Wow, looks like I could probably have a link. In fact, looks like my client is actually linked on this web page. Listing of bow manufacturers, listing of arrow manufacturers, sites, optics, accessories, targets, and miscellaneous. Now, regarding the caliber or quality of the web design, I'm not a design snob. In fact, you've heard me say Google loves ugly. This is not the most beautiful of pages. What I am a little bit curious about, though, is who are the people behind this page? So I'm going to go all the way back up to the top here and see, it looks like this might be some sort of local ISP and somebody has put together an archery links page. I'm not completely sure who they are. I'd like to know a little bit more about, okay, organizational links. I'd like to know a little bit more about who these people are that have taken the time to put this up here. I don't even have a way of pursuing or asking or requesting a link. Uh, in this case, or do I? If I go all the way back up to the home page here, I can make a phone call and find out a little bit more about the various sites that are hosted on this domain. But again, let's go back to my original search. It doesn't get much simpler than archery links. If we look at the number two site, we see we're at texasarchery.org, which it looks like it's a, remember this, because we're going to come back to this. You can learn a lot as you go through the process of link building, the Texas State Archery Association. Now we've learned that there are such things as archery associations. That's going to come back and be very helpful to us. Here we have a list of a number of different links related to archery. Gosh, look at that, the Texas A&M Archery website. Remember that, the University of Texas Archery Club. So we are learning about all kinds of different types of websites that are out there related to archery. 
definite link target opportunity here. In fact, it even mentions contact the webmaster if you have an archery related website to add. Most frequently needed links are Texan, for Texans are listed first. That's how vertical we go here, not just archery links, but archery links for Texans. So anyway, that's my first search, archery links. I have not used any advanced Google uh, parameters yet at this point. Uh, all I've done is used a keyword and the word links. But just as a first example, I'm going to use the advanced search parameter that helps restrict my content to by domain. And I'm going to do site colon dot edu. Why dot edu? Well, not because universities are automatically more trustworthy, but because I want to see what kind of content exists out within the university and academic link space to see if there are any opportunities there because university-based content has a tendency to be more highly curated and therefore tougher to earn links from, which is why Google has a tendency to feel they might be more useful. Now, it's a lot more complex than I just said, but my point I think here is that not all EDU links are good links. There's a number of other things that go into the mix there, but nonetheless, there's my first advanced Google search parameter, archery links, site colon dot edu. And it looks like we find uh, the Prince William Sound Community College so we've got a community college here that's got, what, an archery club? Let's see what we find as this page loads. Okay, Prince William, Prince William Sound Community College, and we see a, a, a bow, some kids here in a bow home campus life. It looks like a student club and organization. Um, is it a link get target? That's going to be a tough get. Why is it going to be a tough get? Because we only have a handful, less than 10 links on this site. We do have a link, and we do have something here that says, Sponsors, there's a hint for you, depending upon what type of outreach activities your company engages in, um, United Way of Valdez and uh, the Easton Sports Foundation. So a couple things here worth pointing out. One is whenever you come across a collection of resources like this, these themselves could end up pot potentially being link opportunities for you. I'll tell you about a very cool little uh, Chrome add-on. Here's the add-on. It's called Link Clump. Link Clump is free to uh, uh, for anyone who uses Chrome. You can see it. It says added to Chrome here. I've, I'm already using it. What Link Clump allows you to do is by using your right mouse button and holding it down while you're on a page, you can open up all of the links on that page. And here's how we would do that. Remember, Link Clump is the add on. Okay, right mouse click and hold and now pull up and notice how those links are turning red. When I release my mouse, look at the top of my browser. Every one of those links is now opening in its own tab. So it's basically just one of those workflow type of uh, tools. Yeah, I could have held my control key down and done click, 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 click and done that, which is fine. But when you have a list of maybe 30, 40, or 50 links, then it can really be a hassle. And that's where Link Clump can really be incredibly helpful because now I can go through and I can take a look at each of these websites that I've already found and make a decision as to whether or not each, and each one of these might represent yet another opportunity, not necessarily just links, but for some sort of outreach that might be helpful to me. We're not just interested in some of the sites that that site had. Uh, looks like we're dead links. Broken link building is also a, a viable topic uh, uh, or a viable uh, method, extremely uh, powerful. Looks like we have another 404. So it looks like this might be a site that would make sense to reach out to and let them know that they've got a couple of uh, dead links. Here we have the Alaskan Bow Wonders Association and they have their own links page. Looks like we might have found another potential link target opportunity here, as well as other potential now, I'm not going to open all of these, but here is where Link Clump really helps. Right mouse click and look as I go over all these. If I, were, if I release that right now, I'd be opening up 40, 50 tabs. Now, I'm not going to do that, but that's where Link Clump really starts to come in handy. When you land on what looks like might be a mother load of Link Get opportunities, like all of these websites, and, and the, um, we want to open up a bunch of them to start our research. Okay, so let's close those out, and now let's move on 
to my next example. Okay, so we did archery links site colon dot edu. So site colon dot edu is our first advanced search parameter. But remember when we were on one of those sites, we found out that there were some archery clubs. Let's do a let's search for archery clubs. And a lot of club well clubs can often be located at universities. So here we're going to find any college or university that has an archery club. That doesn't necessarily though mean that they have link opportunities. And this is where we can add a second advanced search parameter. What about university-based archery clubs that also have links pages? Well, you know what? Sometimes if you have a links page or a resources page or a helpful links or whatever, sometimes you actually name your URL path or your file name to include those letters. So let's use the in URL advanced search parameter links. So basically what I'm about to do is tell Google to find me archery clubs based at universities that might have links pages. And if so, or, or that have links pages that they've actually named uh, the file name with the letters L-I-N-K-S in it. And let's see if I fail or if I succeed. So we're searching now and what do we get? We get 55 results. University of Washington, and here's, what I'm, here's where we can see that advanced search parameter at work. L-I-N-K-S within the path within the path of the URL itself. And we know it's an EDU, why? Because of that search, advanced search uh, parameter. And my keywords were just archery clubs. That's all, archery clubs, site colon EDU, in URL links. Let's take a look at this first one, University of Washington Archery Club. Okay, now in this particular case, the link get opportunity is gonna be tough. Why? They've only got a handful of links here. Hoyt, Samick, Win Win, PSC, as far as the archery manufacturers. So if you are an archery manufacturer, do you have an opportunity to get on this page? Sure, you can always ask. That doesn't mean that they're going to give you the link, but it certainly represents a potential opportunity. We can also go back to our search and keep moving down the list. Now we're going to move on to Case Western. Now that site is completely gone, it looks like. So, um, that's, an inter so that's a 404 within a Google search result. Um, my hunch is that there might possibly be an archery club at Case Western. I'll move my way backwards up the URL path to see, or maybe not. Or it could have just been completely moved to a different section on Case Western Reserve. And I won't burn time in this video, uh, but I will tell you that this is where really refusing to give up comes in. It can become very handy, very helpful. Uh, at, uh, because my hunch is somewhere I can find that website back on this university page. Um, I'm just going to need a few minutes to, uh, uh, to do so. So I'm going to move on to my next one and let's see what else we can find. Um, is this where it moved to? Yeah, it looks like Case Western Archery Club. This is nice. Other clubs, non-collegiate clubs, more about archery, Wikipedia, Archer's Reference, 10 Zone, NAA competition. Now, going to be tough to get a link here again, but um, because they don't have that many uh, links, nor do I see a whole lot of links to commercial-oriented content. Doesn't mean it's impossible. And this would be where you might start to get into some further linking strategizing along the lines of what about an archery safety guide for kids or archery safety manual that you created and the content was in a PDF in a downloadable format uh, that you could then reach out to them and let them know not so much about your online store but about some other type of content that you had that they might that might resonate more with them. In fact, we can even do a search on that exact Okay, let me first finish up here. You can see the search that I did there, archery club site colon dot edu in URL links. And one other thing I want to do in URL resources. And with that search is going to produce, oh wow, 16.9 million archery club site colon dot edu in URL resources. Wow. It looks like that was the one we should have used. resources. They do have a links page. It just didn't show up on my other search yet, or it was probably farther down the page. Okay, so here we change that particular parameter to in URL resources. Remember what I said a moment ago, though, about if you had created content like, uh, let's say I had suggested to my client that they create an archery safety guide for children teaching your children how to become safe archers. 
and you created that in HTML as well as a PDF downloadable document. I wonder if I were to do a search on something like archery safety, and then here's my advanced search parameter, file type PDF. Wow, half a million. Archery safety as archery as a safe sport, archery safety in schools, archery safety activity checkpoints uh, for the Girl Scouts of Connecticut, archery safety for kids, archery equipment safety and range commands, archery study guide. The content is out there. The content is link worthy. It's obviously been linked to by somebody or Google could not show it to me here. In this case, then, I was using the file type parameter just to see what kind of content was already out there. Let me go back to my earlier search. Okay, additional advanced search terms that I use in the in URL would be useful. So links, resources, useful. That doesn't always mean that these are going to be link targets. And then one of my other favorites is sponsors. Because now what I've told Google to do is show me university-based archery clubs that have sponsors. I only get 15 results. That's kind of nice. Let's take a look at one of these, West Virginia. Check back later. Apparently, they haven't show, sold any sponsorships. Let's see if we can find another. <laughs> Okay, sustaining sponsors, RMEF. If you know anything about archery, you know who some of these are. Optics, Pheasants Forever, Browning, Ducks Unlimited, Bass Pro Shops. You know, what's interesting is these aren't even clickable links, yet they can still send a semantic signal to Google. Semantic may be the wrong word there, but in other words, even though it's not a clickable link, Google can sometimes divine from it enough to be able to potentially give credit. Let me go back to that. So in URL sponsors, I want to make one tweak here on my site colon. I want to look for nonprofit clubs, archery clubs that also have sponsors. Look at that. So we've got over a thousand different archery clubs that have sponsors. Let's just pick one. Helping archery thrive in Northwest Wisconsin since 1949. Boy, if there's one point that really needs to be made here, it's that these are, these are the exact kind of sites that were not created in some way to manipulate Google. These sites would have existed had Google ever appeared on, uh, in the world or not. You know, these are sites that are devoted to clubs or organizations for people who are passionate about a specific topic. For and then now. Let's, for the time being, just get rid of that advanced parameter. And let's just do archery club site colon dot edu. We get 203,000. It looks like the US archery team even might maintain a directory of all of the archery clubs. I just clicked on Tennessee. That's where I'm based, specifically in Knoxville. And look at that. Right here in my own town is a archery club. Now, does that mean they have a links page? No, I don't see one right off the bat. But just because they don't have a links page doesn't necessarily mean that there's no opportunity for me here, depending on how much I'm willing to go beyond this mentality of just links for search rank. You know, if my client is based in Knoxville, and I let them know that there's an archery club in Knoxville called the Olympic Arrow. My client would be an absolute fool to not be involved in some form or fashion with this club. And that's where just good company marketing ends up spilling over onto the web in, the fo in a form that can end up resulting in signals, whether it's links or what have you, that end up helping you at Google as well. So here we actually have a site that's going to list by state all of the archery clubs. So that was a pretty cool search there. 
hold on, let me go back here. Archery Club site colon dot US. Now, let me go through a couple additional advanced search parameters uh, as we uh, dig a little bit further into this. If I do a search on something like archery, links, resources, hold on. And then I use the in URL submit parameter. Now most people feel as though this was a tactic that stopped being effective a decade ago. They couldn't be more wrong. It's not the tactic that's effective, it's how careful you are about going about the process of identifying the site on which you pursue your links from. Just because a site actively seeks submissions does not make it bad. So in this particular case, we see that there are a number of sites and content related to archery that accept submissions. Does that mean that all of the, these will be links? No, not at all. We look, we see what, cert, what a number of these organizations are seeking. Submit a review, submit a story. Let's see what else we can find. Event slogan, submit yours, the bow hunting forums. Submit URL at Ski, at Ski Central. That's interesting because it's a skiing site. That may be spam. Don't know for sure, but let's take a look. Add your site to the world's largest ski and snowboard index now. 10, that's interesting. I probably need to take a further look at this, and it, depending how it looks, I might just drop that into the next print or next issue of Link Moses Private. Um, I am a little bit curious as to why this site came up when my search. That could be just one of those strange Google quirks because there's nothing about this that necessarily should have brought that site up. But that's also the serendipity of link building. If you happen to have a client <laughs> related to skiing, there you go. Um, all right, now let's get into a couple of other uh, uh, advanced search parameters. One is the all in title parameter. In this case, all in title is basically telling Google that you want each word that you type after the all in title colon parameter to appear in the title tag of the website. Google, show me websites whose title tag contains the text archery links and resources. We only get seven of them. Some of them look pretty good though. These are pages that have that as the title tag. You can see it up there, archery, resources, and links. Well, it was reversed, but nonetheless, it was a perfect match for the words that I included in my title tag. Let's take a look at the, at the other one. Again, a perfect match. head over to the Omaha Aham Ahamo Archery Club and see what we find there. You just saw my client's logo. Another good link get opportunity. And let's take a look at one more resources and links. Not as Many, well, we've got some online stores there. Actually, that's an opportunity I need to pursue. I even got a, a, an email address here. What's interesting is that the more nichified and uh, uh, the more likely you are to actually find a legitimate contact. In other words, it's not my hunch is this site is not being spammed all day long with link requests for uh, a bunch of different types of sites, which is why is because it's archery specific. This particular person was actually willing or, uh, or this address. It doesn't say webmaster at info at help at or some other what I call kiss of death emails that nobody ever or nobody is likely to respond to. So all in title is another parameter or advanced search parameter uh, um, or operator. I, I, I use the word parameter, I'm sorry, and operator interchangeably, and I probably shouldn't. Advanced search operator that could be helpful here. If we were to do a search on something like all in title 
archery guide. Now you'll start to find some of those guides. The Beginner's Guide to Archery, Beginner's Guide to Traditional Archery, Bow Sports, The Beginner's Guide to Archery. God, here's even a YouTube video, A Beginner's Guide. Now, this is where if you had put together that safety manual PDF, you would have the link-worthy asset or linkable asset that you might reach out to these sites to let know is available, and that might be something they may be willing to link to. There's a PDF even showing up. Archery Park Guide, that's interesting, by the Archery Trade Association. So the Archery Trade Association, by the way, another hint there, my client um, would need to be a member of that if they aren't already, has put out the Archery Park Guide Trade Association as a PDF, I guess it shows all the different archery ranges that are available um, around the country. So the all in title operator can be extremely useful. Archery events. Wow, the 3D archery events database in all 50 states. Amazing. USA archery events results, US archery events, Ar archery events from the Montana Bow Hunters Association. Why do I say that? Because events often need uh, sponsors, um, media coverage, attention, help making their events successful. Again, this is where it's not just link building, it's public relations and marketing. How do we find such events? By using the all in title operator. We don't have to do the all in title, but it sure helps get us closer. If I get rid of that and just do a search on something like archery events, I'm gonna get a lot, a, a lot more. But by using that advanced operator, it can be extremely useful. Okay, let's try one last um, example search here with a, using our advanced search operators. Let's imagine that um, my client is looking for opportunities to, to post content or write, and I'm not talking about guest posting here. Not that there's anything wrong with guest blog posting. I think you have to be extremely cautious about how you go about the process. It's another one of those types of link building tactics that some people will say is, 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 is no longer effective. Again, that couldn't be more wrong. It depends, again, on who's doing the writing and who's doing the hosting of that writing. What's the caliber of the content? What's the caliber of the content where, uh, of the site on which that content will end up residing? You can't just make a blanket statement that all guest blog posting is bad. Now, let's do a couple searches here on archery. Sorry. All in title right for us. <laughs> Harlequin. What does Harlequin have to do with archery? Let's change that. Go through this process in front of you. I don't mind that because this is what I do every day. Actually, isn't it interesting? There's an article at position four right there written just this past September. Again, the serendipity of link building. I love this. 50 actionable ways to build links to your e-commerce store. I think he's actually used the example that I just, or one of the examples that I was just showing you with some of the searches that you can do. So you might come back and check that article out, but let's go back to this. So let's Let's do a search on best archery blogs. The nice thing is that there's often someone who has decided to do a uh, do the heavy lifting for us and actually gone out and found and identified a list of the, the best blogs. Sometimes you'll get a list, top 50 blo blogs about archery. So if I do a search on best archery blogs and then in URL, submissions, 
Let's see what we find there. Definitely they're archery sites. Calling for submissions, modern medievalist. We might need to tweak that a little bit further. Archery blog in URL submission. Let's see what we get there. I might change it back to submit. Doing a little bit better here. We go back up here and look at I do a search on archery blog guest post. Now, if I want to use my advanced operator to find an opportunity that might be on a little bit more trustworthy page, I might do a search on a phrase like archery guest post club or association site colon dot org. Now, what I've done here is I've told Google, I'd like to see if I can find the words archery guest post or guest. I might even change that to guest column, but we can tweak that again here in a minute. And then I've said, I want the word club or in caps association. I want an archery club or an archery association. Now, you can see that it worked here by the word club here. And then the word association here. So it gave me either or. And then restrict my search to site colon to, to dot orgs because we know that these are much more likely to be legitimate nonprofit clubs related to archery. Now, whether or not they have a guest post opportunity, we might have to remove that. And we might have to just use that operator and that advanced operator to now dig through and look for opportunities. For example, let's just see what the Florida Archery Association holds for us. Well, we can already tell. It says right here, your logo could be here. See, I love pages like this. The page is just so ridiculously ugly. Yet for those who care about such things, I mean, as far as legitimacy goes, this is a legitimate website that would be sending strong algorithmic signals to a search engine, as well as the type of site that if you have an archery related business, you would be getting in front of the exact audience that you would want to. What's this scholarship? What's that about? Hmm. So they actually give out scholarships. Looks like as, re as recently as four days ago, there was a contest up. I'm not going to run uh, Adobe on this. So here's the re results of a, a recent event. And you can see the advertisers here. And these are the types of links, by the way. These are not the types of paid links that are going to end up getting you in trouble with an algorithm because they are absolutely perfect, perfectly on topic and related to the audience you're in front of. Probably the best possible way to position this or to, to decide whether or not you should be pursuing a link that you spend money for is to ask the question, is this a link that I would want in a world where there was no Google? In other words, can this link help me even um, if no search engine gives me any credit for it whatsoever? And in, that, in this case, the answer is absolutely. Okay, so Archery Clubber Association site colon dot org. That helped us get a little bit better than our approaches when we were looking for guest opportunities, which is fine. I mean, sometimes the best opportunities to get content on other people's site is actually to reach out to them one-to-one. -one. Um, and uh, 
uh, find sites that don't that aren't necessarily actively seeking the guest posters. So let's see if there's anything else I can do in this particular video specifically related to archery. We've done archery clubs, we've done archery associations, uh, we've done archery let's do archery ranges and then let's see who's putting out any archer. Uh, let's find out by using the file type operator again who is pu who is publishing content as a PDF, a downloadable map. Oh, there's guidelines. The NFAA Archery and Bowhunter Range Guidelines. Archery Range Safety Rules, Morrisville State College. That's interesting. And here's where I'm headed with this. One of the tech or strategies that I've used with clients in the past is to find organizations, nonprofit organizations that are creating downloadable content, whether it's a PDF or whatever, printable or whatever you might call it, and actually sponsoring that downloadable by getting their own company name and brand posted on it, even paying for it. You know, um, and uh, in other words, building brand on something that is ultimately either going to be might be read on a on a uh, on a device of some type, since PDFs can be read that way. But um, something that's intended to be printed out, whether it's a pamphlet, a brochure, a safety guide, a manual, a map, or whatever, where you can have branding along the bottom of that. Um, and uh, often these organizations are thrilled to have somebody offer them anything for that, or to have an interest in that. It kind of reminds me of when I was just a tiny a little boy and my parents, when we would go with, on vacations, with my, uh, we would all live in the family car, my brothers and I, and my dad had the map, and all around the outside of the map was actual physical, were ads for various services related to some people who would be out there on the road and, and be using a map. So what I'm suggesting is there are 118,000 PDF documents out here in some way related to that's just archery ranges. If I change it to archery safety, if you're, if if my client specializes or has a part of their line of equipment that is safety gear, well, I got 516,000 PDF documents related to archery safety. Now, some of them are going to be competitors, no doubt about it. But you know what? Some of these are not going to be competitors at all. The challenge now becomes building the rapport or the relationship to find your way on. And that's probably a good stopping off point because that's ultimately the sites that figure out a way to succeed are going to be those who understand that it's not about the easy get link opportunities. It's more about relationship building that also results in links in front of the right audience. Um, so that's all I've got for this particular Link Moses video tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed both the successes that I had as well as seeing the frustrations that can happen as you go through this process. What you saw is exactly what I often will go through as I go through part of my process of, of uh, identifying. This is one piece of a puzzle. I also use link prospecting tools, third party tools, back, uh, backlink analysis, uh, as well as other research types. But this particular video was focused on advanced Google searches. And I sure hope you found it uh, worth your time. Thanks again, and until next time, this is Eric Ward, a.k.a. Link Moses.